It's been quite some time since I've driven the Lexus RX 350. Time flies when you're selling lots and lots of SUVs. Believe it or not, it's been 20 years since it was released. Now in its fourth generation, behind me is the all new, for last year, Lexus RX 350 fourth generation. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, you'll certainly take notice of its shape. Lexus is no longer content to just stand by and watch other competitors make really aggressive shapes. Love it or hate it, it's certainly very bold and modern looking and aggressive. And that goes for any angle you happen to be looking at. It looks like a bird of prey ready to pounce. And of course, that's what Lexus hopes to do with its competitors. It fits in with their latest design language. And hey, I like it. It stands out and it's certainly not plain and boring. It makes a statement whether you like it or not. Inside, it's more sedate, but very, very stylish and luxurious. Of course, you get all power seats with lumbar support. And I really love what they've done to the interior. This color is great, looks luxurious, looks great, and adds style. Lots of different materials go into the interior. Chrome finishes, leather, black, this dark brown burgundy looks great. And of course, the very large infotainment screen, which is optional. Huge, in fact, looks great. Familiar Lexus steering wheel with the nice wood accents here. Very nice, wood all the way across. And I think it's just a really nice, luxurious look. Of course, it's all very functional too. You've got an armrest, which has storage inside. Also, USB inputs and a charger. Here's sort of the palm rest for your mouse controls here. That's right, Lexus's system is controlled by a mouse. Can sort of move it around but you also have buttons to get you to the menu and it's actually quite intuitive once you get used to it it's really just like using your computer there's three different driving modes you can also lock the differential and you can turn off traction control which i never recommend two cup holders in the mouse control like i talked about earlier the transmission is an eight speed automatic that you can shift yourself right here no paddle shifters but that's okay I actually prefer to shift it over here as opposed to the paddle shifters, but it is nice that you get to shift it yourself. More storage here, a charger, the dual zone climate control right here, and look, this is nice. You actually have normal controls for the radio volume and the tuning. I like that. Plus, you can easily get to these push buttons for the audio system too. You get a nice analog clock. That's certainly a cool touch and the steering wheel with the large Lexus emblem right there. You have controls for your Bluetooth, also your volume here on this side, and on this side controls for the menu up front, and also your safety driving features like the laser cruise control distance and the lane keep assist here. Scrolling through the menu here, lots of useful information. And I'm really a fan of the heads-up display too. Very nice. To the left of the steering wheel is where you control the heads-up display. Also, the back, you can open up the trunk there. Some lighting and also your heated steering wheel. On the doors, you have controls for your power mirrors. Also, windows and door locks. Place to store your phone here. And some more storage down here too. You also get three memory settings. That's very nice to have. So overall, the interior of the Lexus RX 350 is a great mix of style, luxury, and tech. Plus, you get this beautiful panoramic sunroof too. Very nice. Out back, you get your own vents and a charger, plus a little bit of storage down there. The same nice mud-proof mats and seating for three across. But wait, there's more. Pull this down and you have two more cup holders plus a bit of storage there too in the armrest. You can also easily collapse the seat if you want to have more storage or access to the back as well. Of course, the lift gate is power actuated. And again, you have this mud guard. These are great, they really help you keep your car clean and they're very easy to clean also. 
You also get a cargo cover, a first aid kit, and the ability to very easily put down the seats with these. Excellent. And that's where you get all of your storage and utility in this sport utility vehicle. Very nice. Powering the Lexus RX350 is a three and a half liter four cam 24 valve V6 that makes 295 horsepower at 6300 RPM and 267 horsepower at 4700 RPM. That's good for a zero to 60 time of 6.9 seconds onto a quarter mile of 15.3 with a top speed of 129 miles per hour that's limited. Fuel economy is rated at 19 in the city and 26 on the highway. You can expect 22 miles per gallon overall. The 2016 Lexus RX 350 starts out at $43,300. Now, you might very well want the $4,610 luxury package, and that includes semi-aniline leather trim seats, power folding heated outside mirrors, wood and leather heated steering wheel and shift knob, 20-inch alloy wheels with color inserts, rear door sunshades, aluminum roof rails, driver's seat steering wheel memory, illuminated scuff plates, sapel wood with aluminum trim, LED ambient illumination, and rain sensing wipers. Also optional is a $3,260 12.3-inch navigation system with Mark Levinson 15-speaker premium audio package. The $2,250 Lexus safety system with triple beam LED headlamps. The $1,600 panoramic sunroof. The $640 heated and ventilated front seats. Love those. The $600 heads-up display. Absolutely love that too. The $500 intuitive park assist, the $200 touch-free power rear door, and the $190 all-weather floor mats with cargo mat. Now with all that, you're out the dealer door at $58,090. Certainly not cheap, and there's a lot of competition out there from the likes of, well, every single major manufacturer. In fact, I just tested the Porsche McCann on the track. Check for my review of that elsewhere. But everybody makes a luxury SUV these days, so, why are you drawn to the Lexus? Well, you might have the money to buy anything. You might have the money to buy a more flashy luxury SUV, a Beamer maybe, the Audi, the Porsche even, the Mercedes. But actually, I think Lexus has a lot going for it because although Lexus cars are luxurious, they're not pretentious, they're not over the top. This one, the new RX350, is a bit more aggressive looking. So I'd even call it more aggressive than some Porsche models. It really does look aggressive. They've changed their styling and they've really made it fit their other vehicles. So it's an aggressive look, but it's not aggressive in terms of its presence because people that buy Lexuses, well, they may very well be concerned about the environment. They are concerned about other people. They are looking out for other drivers on the road, not just their own safety, even though this Lexus RX 350 does a great job of looking out for the driver and passengers. The Lexus driver is conscious of other people and conscious of their image. Sure, they might be successful. Sure, they might be able to afford much more SUV than this one. But it's not looking like they're showing off, but they're not suffering at all either. They're getting great luxury and all the latest safety and tech features too. It's an SUV you can drive and spoil yourself with while not feeling guilty at the same time or pretentious. Okay, I've put it into sport mode. I'm in first gear, as you can see right here. And it takes on a whole different personality. It's actually more aggressive. It holds the shifts longer. It takes the turns nicely. Doesn't sound like a sport utility vehicle when you're ringing it out on the back road, but it is. Let's face it, if you're interested in the sporting aspect of this SUV, you're probably gonna get the F Sport version, the F version, there is one available, and that's the high-performance version, but this RX350 is no slouch. We're in the sport mode. Engine sounds great. It's very rev-happy. Stays in your gear when you 
shift it yourself in the sport mode and corners better than you think it might. So that's a good thing. Has plenty of power for acceleration too. But, you know, I've tested Lexus's RC on the track, Monticello to be specific. You can look for my video review of that one. I actually do a split lap time with the V6 and the V8, but a Kia Toyota, he means business. He's an enthusiast and he's brought you cars like the LFA and the Scion FRS, now the Toyota 86, but Toyota is definitely interested in building sporting cars. So the F-Line is really something special. If you haven't driven one of those, you should check it out. But just know that even though this RX350 is capable of being a very, very good and very capable SUV, it's no slouch on a back road and it is quite fun to drive and quite peppy too. It's quick and it's fun to drive, handles well too, but it doesn't sacrifice that very comfortable Lexus handling and steering. Right now I'm at slow speed and the steering just feels very Lexus-like. You could blindfold me and I could tell you that I'm in the Lexus. It has a certain feel and I like it. It's luxurious and comfortable, but at the same time it's still fast and it handles well too. It's actually a great balance of comfort and sport, but at slow speeds it's very easy to steer and that wood steering wheel feels great in your hands. Now I'm going where most Lexus drivers are not going to go with their RX350, but just know that if you want to take it off-road, it can do it. There are three driving modes. You get a normal mode, which is a good combination of speed and economy. There's eco mode, if you're interested in being the most practical and saving the most gas while you're driving. And then there's also the sport mode, which holds the shifts longer and gives you more power and acceleration overall. So you can set it up any way you like it. I tend to keep it an eco to save the world and save the environment. But um, it's got three different personalities and they're all very distinct. So I set the cruise to 45 and there's a car stopped in front of me. So there you go. I didn't even put on the brakes. I just put it up to resume and then it resumes. And it will keep me a safe distance from the car in front of me. Right now, as you can see from the heads up display, there's three car lengths. But I like to keep it at one car length because it makes it less intrusive. And there you go. Now I'm set to the shortest distance. So it will keep me at this speed. And I'll go ahead and increase it up here to 54 miles an hour. And so anything that happens in front of me, I could be in Maine driving all the way down to Florida. And if there was enough gas, it would keep me going the whole time. And even if traffic stopped, all I would have to do is just tap the cruise control lever up to resume or just tap the gas pedal and it would just go ahead and resume, even in heavy traffic. So it's an incredible safety feature, yes. It's incredibly convenient, yes. But it's also a luxury feature because it's really nice not to have to worry about so much the jerk in front of you that cuts you off and things like that. It makes things much safer. Now you should still pay attention, but these advancements in safety are just absolutely amazing. And look, we're getting ready to stop here. We'll be stopping very quickly, as you see. And I didn't do any of that. The car stopped for me. So there you go. It's absolutely incredible. And you also have the lane keep assist. And let's see how it does. I'm covering the steering wheel just in case. But it actually will steer me back into the lane and if you're not holding on to the steering wheel it will let you know that you're not holding on to the steering wheel and it will tell you to grab the steering wheel or else it'll beep at you and be quite mean okay so there you go this is 
virtually a self-driving car in many ways. And again, it's not just about the safety, which is awesome, and you shouldn't abuse it, but it is extremely luxurious. This car really drives for you, and that's a luxury that really you can't understand until you experience it. I've always been a fan of the cruise control, but the cruise control that stops for you, accelerates for you up to a certain amount of speed so you never have to worry about speeding, it actually will keep you out of speeding tickets too. So it can even save you money. And not only can it save you money, it can actually save your life. And that is really incredible. Modern cars like this Lexus RX 350 really do offer the cutting edge of what's available these days and you should really really drive it if you can afford it and checking out the night look here on the Lexus RX 350 and I think it looks great the analog clock glows beautifully the map looks great everything looks good here at night the gauges look especially good even the steering wheel how it lights up blue that's all very nice even on the side here so overall it's a really nice looking night look and just like Washington DC is a really nice looking city that exudes elegance and grandeur well so does this Lexus now when it comes to technology integration here in the Lexus RX 350 well I think Lexus does a very good job of integrating the technology. They have their kind of quirky mouse computer-like control for it, but once you get used to it, and most people are computer savvy these days, and Lexus is going after a younger audience, just look at shape of this Lexus RX 350. It's definitely more aggressive, definitely going for a younger generation. They understand computers, so to them, they get it. Now, I would prefer a touch screen, even though this screen is massive, 12.3 inches. So for that, I will lower the score just a little bit. And also for the quirkiness of the mouse and that sort of thing, since again, I think a touch screen is generally the better way to go in terms of automotive infotainment screens. I'll go ahead and give it an eight and a half. It is very good. It's just a little bit quirky, but again, that's something that makes this Lexus stand out. It's their style, it's the way they do things. So hey, there you go. I also like how you can control the audio the old fashioned way with knobs. Love it or hate it, it definitely is different and it does work well once you get to know how to use it. So in the end, the Lexus is a very capable sport utility vehicle. It offers the ability to go off road with the all wheel drive and also the safety of all-wheel drive. Plus, it offers all the luxury you could hope for, the technology, and also the comfort and speed. So really, it is a complete package. No wonder it's such a great seller. No wonder it's so popular. And with its new redesign, it's just more of the same, but even better and more aggressive looking too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Driving Ivan.